YouTube, what up? Bobby C back with another handgun quick look. Today we are looking at a Wilson Combat Contemporary Classic. And I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail on the firearm, but more importantly, I want to take a moment and talk about why this particular gun is extremely special to me and why it's actually in my collection. So for those of you guys that don't know, the Wilson Contemporary Classic was a 1911 that Wilson Combat released in 2011 as a tribute gun to John Moses Browning and a 100 year anniversary to the 1911 platform um, being put into production. So what Wilson did was they took a look at the 1911 and they said, hey, if John Browning had access to modern day CNC machines, what would he have done today versus back in 19, probably, you know, 1909, really 1910, then 1911 when the firearm initially debuted and, and, and hit the market. And they, they, they put this package together. And I have to say, for me, it's hard to argue with this because the features that this firearm has are features that I personally love in the 1911. And a lot of the custom guns that I've had commissioned out to builders have these exact features. So I love what Wilson did with this gun. Um, I know there were a handful of other semi-custom shops out there that... Uh, did something very similar um, but for me Wilson did the best job in executing the vision and the design at least in my opinion based on what I look for what I want in a 1911 at least these days so the reason the gun's special to me or why why would I have a Wilson combat semi custom type gun in my stable when I have you know, so many other full on custom guns in there. And the answer is this firearm is actually the 1911 that drew me into the higher end gun world. So I didn't know that Wilson combat was even a thing back in 2011. And I really didn't get into or discover, um, custom guns or semi-custom guns really until sometime in 2013. So in 2013, when I came across this or ran across a picture of this, I was like, holy cow, that might be one of the most exceptional, most beautiful, most well-executed 1911s that I've ever seen. And I have to have one. Unfortunately, this gun sold out in probably five minutes when Wilson Combat released it back in 2011. So there was no way to go back in time to get on an order list with Wilson when they when they released this thing. So luck may have it or, you know, fate had it that I just so happened to be browsing around Gunbroker and I stumbled upon this one. And from there, I decided that it had to go into my stable because this one is what really drew me into the custom gun world, the custom, semi custom 1911 world. It introduced me to really all the guys that I have work done from these days that I would have never known about or I would have never even thought about buying unless I had run across a picture of this gun. So, you know, what did Wilson do when they put this one together or put this one out? And, you know, as you can see, first and foremost, the gun is just stunning, right? Um, it's it's a, it's a bit different than what I typically go for in a 1911 in terms of finish. It's definitely different in terms of, you know, the scrolling and the markings on it and stuff like that. But it's every bit as beautiful as my most expensive guns. So, you know, first and foremost, Wilson took and they used all bulletproof parts. So some people either are into that or they're not and you know for me really this is the only semi-custom gun left in my stable so you know the fact that it has those upgraded parts is is great they took and they obviously made this a bushing gun um, so there's the bushing there wilson bulletproof bushing they put some browning high power cuts up front 
they went ahead and met the dust cover with ball cuts and Wilson has an interesting reputation for ball cuts but that's nor here nor there um, the ball cuts are there all the parts are are carbon steel so even this trigger um, is a carbon steel trigger obviously all Wilson parts slide stop thumb safety grip safety mainspring housing the whole deal there is a, a nice chamfer going down the bottom of this slide. We have some top strap treatment. We have a Wilson Combat gold bead front sight with serrations. We have the Wilson Combat battle sight. And then we have a high cut under, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a, um, a frame that's been cut a bit higher for higher grip. We have 30 lines per inch front strap checkering, 30 lines per inch mainspring housing checkering, and then we have some rear slide serrations going through the extractor that blend up and make nicely with the rear sight. Wilson, given kind of what this what this one is, did take and give it what I would say a really, really decent polish and then sent it off to Turnbull. And as you can see, the bluing in this particular one is quite a bit different than that hot hot salt blue that the majority of my 1911s have or even DLC. This has much more of a gray hue to it than that darker blue black finish. We have some really nice scrolling contemporary classic as well as JMB initials on the back. And then we have that 100 year commemorative scrolling 1911 to 2011. And then that Wilson Combat Flying Eagle or as some like to say, flying wombat logo on the back of the slide. If we look at the barrel in particular, this one reads Wilson Combat 45 or Wilson 45 ACP. For whatever reason, I remember reading that this had a cart barrel, so maybe it's just a rebranded cart barrel. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a standard Wilson barrel that's been fit to the gun. Either way, it doesn't really matter. This isn't a firearm that I shoot. It's actually never been shot, um, and and that's fine. The, the purpose of this firearm is not really to go out and ring steel or shoot B8 targets. Um, I have plenty of other firearms that do that just fine. The last feature of this firearm that I wanna point out that I absolutely love is this mainspring housing. Mainspring housing has this integral lanyard loop on it which to me is just probably the coolest part of the gun outside of the finish and kind of what it is as far as drawing me into the custom gun world but that that lanyard loop is something that i saw and when i had brandon bunker um, build me a gun or when i commissioned him to build me the first full custom gun that i bought um, i asked him for something very similar to to that so there she is in all her glory, the Wilson Combat Contemporary Classic. Beautiful French walnut grips with the Wilson logo. Really for most people, I would say everything that they could ever want and hope for in a 1911 at this price point. I think when this gun initially launched, it was either $4,500 or $5,000, I can't remember. And for, for what it is, I'm really happy with it. Um, for me, it's just that commemorative piece that I love and I wanted to show off. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you on the next one.